friends, welcome to our math lesson. Roger and I are here to teach you a little bit about weight today. So friends, when we are weighing things, you can use a lot of different things to weigh things. You can use a bathroom scale, you can use, I have a cooking scale that I use. You can even hold it up in your hands and kind of guess how much it weighs. But one of the things that we're going to use today is a balance scale. Now, we're all at home during quarantine and I don't have a balance scale at my house and I'm guessing you probably don't either. And if you do, you're super lucky. So I'm going to make my own balance scale today and here's how I'm gonna do it. I have a big marker here and then I'm just gonna take a cookie sheet that I use for cooking and I'm just gonna set it on that marker and see it kind of goes side to side. Now it's not gonna be perfect, but it's gonna be close enough, all right? So here are the things that we're going to measure today. We're going to see, because we can, we can use a balance scale to see which item is heavier. It doesn't really tell us what the weight is, but it tells us which item is heavier. So if we put something on this side and it's super light, and we put something on this side and it's heavy, the heavy side will go down. And that's going to show that this side is heavier. Why do you think that the heavy side goes down? The heavy side goes down because there's more weight pushing it down. Sort of like a seesaw, huh? Your friend goes on this side, they push up and go down, and it goes side to side. So let's weigh a few objects. Now you can do this at your house, and let's see, let's see just how well our balance scale works. The first thing that I'm going to weigh is I have a Junie B. Jones book here, and I have a notebook. Which do you think is going to weigh more? What's your best guess? Let's see which one weighs more. We're gonna put the notebook here. We're gonna put the Junie B. Jones book here. Which one weighs more? The notebook, see how this side is down? There wasn't even any comparison. What if we put the Junie B. Jones book on there first? I don't have anything on this side, so the Junie B. Jones book is the heavier thing, so it's going down. Let's put the notebook on. Oh my goodness, the notebook weighs more. Let's measure something else. I have some clothespins here. Let's measure the clothespins. I'm gonna put them over here. All right, we've got five clothespins and five popsicle sticks. Which one weighs more? The five clothespins. What if we switch the sides? If I put the clothespins over here and the popsicle sticks over here, is it, is it gonna show the same answer? Is it gonna show that the clothespins are heavier? Let's try it out. All right, let's get our clothespins. You know what? I'm gonna put the popsicle sticks on first. So I'm gonna put them over here. Wow, the cookie sheet weighs more than these popsicle sticks apparently. Let's, let's put the popsicle sticks down. And I'll put the clothespins over here. Now let's see if it shows us that the clothespins are heavier. Oh my goodness! So the popsicle sticks just do not weigh enough to make that clothespin go down. Now let's see which one weighs more. The clothespins or the Junie B. Jones book? Oh, they must be pretty close in weight. How does Miss Day know that they're close in weight? Did you see how slowly that that went over to the Junie B. Jones side? I bet you I could even get this to stay in the middle. So the Junie B. Jones is just a little bit heavier than those clothespins, but if it wanted to stay in the middle there for a little bit, I bet you I could add a few clothespins and get it to stay in the middle. If it's in the middle like this, that means that they weigh the same. Let's see if we can get it to weigh the same. We have five clothespins. Oh, we're getting there. Oh my goodness, that's too much. Let's see. Now since this is not a perfect scale, it might not be terribly, terribly accurate. We're adding some and it's not even moving, friends. Are we going to be able to add enough clothespins to equal this Junie B. Jones book? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Fre 
friends, we are so close. We are so close. That's probably about as close as we're gonna get it. Look at all that, those clothespins to equal that Junior B. Jones book. Now it's too much. Whew. Yeah, that's, that's as close as we're gonna get it. See how you can do that with a balance scale though? You can try to get it in the middle and see if you can get two things to equal the same weight. All right, let's do one more. So let's do my computer mouse. Okay, we've got a computer mouse and we've got some clothespins. Let's see, let's count the clothespins, see how much we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten clothespins. Wow, ten clothespins weighs more than my computer mouse. Let's see if we can get them close to equal. So I have ten. I'm taking away one. How much do I have? Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Oh, it's sort of moved. Let's see. Hold it still. <laughs> so almost four. Almost four clothes pens will be in the middle. I hope that you can make yourself a balance scale at home and see if you can find some things that weigh close to the same, heavier, lighter, and do some experiments just like Miss Day did here with you today. I hope you have a great day, friends, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.